What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Tony D2 Wild, checking in once again, back with the Bank of the Day, guys, on a very long overdue video. You guys can see I'm rocking a plate carrier. I'm out here trying to move around and get, get used to that extra weight. But the real reason why we're out here is because we're gonna be testing out level four body armor. And this level four body armor is from LA Police Gear. This is NIG level four tested, uh, made out of alumina and PE. Its date of manufacturing is October, 2023, valid for five years. And this is the precise size, 250 by 300 millimeters. And this is what we're actually running on the inside as well. And it's curved, so it kind of contours to the body. This body armor is very, very affordable. Um, something good to get your entry in when it comes to body armor. And it is also made in China. That may be one of the reasons why it's a little bit more affordable than body armor made in the United States. But with that being said, I've seen it being tested from uh, Mr. Guns and Gear. He shot several bullets through it, several cartridges through it, and it held up very, very well. So I wanted to do an updated video of my own shooting all these various different calibers we have here today. We got 22 LR, 38 Special, 9 millimeter, 357, 45 ACP, um, 223, 556, 762 by 39, 300 Blackout, and last but not least, 308. So what we're gonna do, and we also have another plate here, we have two, and the plate carrier. It's all like comes in like an actual bundle. You can buy a bundle that comes with the front and the back and the plate carrier. We're gonna shoot this one with all the different calibers. Hopefully we have enough space on here, and then we'll run this next one right here where we'll shoot 308 in the same exact spot several times to see how many rounds of that 308 it can take until it punches through and actually goes completely through the vest itself. So without further ado, let's get straight into it, man, and let it get it. So this one is actually a little bit different than the ones I've been seeing lately. And I don't know, maybe this is something new that they're just doing overall, or this is a specific different model, but this model actually comes with a little bit of cushioning on the front, none on the back, but it comes in cushioning as well as like a mesh or like a nylon or polyester texture all around the actual material. It's a little bit softer, basically. The ones I've seen before, the older videos I've seen before, it's just the straight up, like, I guess, plastic outer coating. I, I, I don't know, this seems like they did something different here, but I'm pretty sure the cushioning is meant for having better feeling on the body armor. It's not as rough on you. But uh, yeah, we're gonna put it up against this water. This water is gonna hold it back. And also let us know, you know, how it takes it. If it goes through, we'll see some water. So first things first, let's get things popping with the 22 LR. I'm trying to think if I'm gonna have to keep this body armor on or not, because honestly trying to get down and, well, this particular weapon in particular, um, it's gonna be a little bit tough, but uh, we'll make it do. Let me see, which way do I go with this? I guess I'll go like this and down, yeah. So this is um, Hammer Lil arms and these are actually a part of the same company as walter arms now i'm not going to say that they're i guess the same manufacturer they're, so, they're under the same family um we are also running a b suppressor here and this is the little bird now what i'm gonna do is we're gonna shoot one without it so i can just hear it and i want to shoot one with it i want to see how this bad boy sounds and this is a straight bolt back straight pull safety I ain't got no good seating, but hold on. All right, we're gonna shoot it regular now. First, you hear that? It's quiet. Yeah. I'm on, I'm curious now how the uh how that that the suppressor gonna sound then. That thing might sound like nothing. A little bird. We're gonna be doing something on this suppressor soon too as well. All right, here goes the little birdie. That thing ain't say nothing. All right, y'all, so we have here the 22 LR. Um, I did not get to fully like zero this in, um, but I, I shot it and see my holdover. So we're gonna aim to the left on this bad boy and it should uh, go right to the right. There we go. All right. So this is what we're seeing here already. So we got hit. It's not gonna be no impact really anything. It just seemed to kind of uh, mess up some of the fur here on here, you feel me? Nothing major, it's definitely in there. Nothing on the back, we're not expecting nothing on the back. But uh, 
a little bit of hit in there, a little bit of fragments. You can feel like some of the really nothing, bro. It ain't really do nothing, bro. Just messed up some of the some of the some of the uh, some of the material. That's about it. All right, y'all. So we already knew what to expect with 22. I mean, nothing. But we have to do the science behind this. You feel me? We have to make sure we know what we're talking about. We need to make sure we know what we're doing. So next up, we are going to shoot 38 special. Then we're going to go to the nine millimeter and then we'll go back to the 357. So I'm going to grab one of each because we're just shooting one of each. Uh, you guys know 38 special 357. Some slight differences of how long the, the actual uh, cartridge cartridge is from doing my uh, my research. Nine millimeter is slightly more powerful than 38, but they give 357 the slight edge over nine millimeters so we'll shoot 38 9 and then 357 that's how we're going to do it so we got a good shot placement that's exactly where i wanted the 22 i wanted to shoot it here so now i'm going to try to aim right here for 38 350 uh 38 9 three i'm gonna like try to work my way around the target so let's try 38 special i suck at shooting revolvers by the way but we have to do what we got to do so forgive me if I'm off a little bit. Three, two, one. Did you see that? From what I just saw though, the 38 went in and it came out the top. Oh wow, that's weird. Yeah, I saw the bullet come out. I saw it. I was tripping thinking like a shell came out. We're gonna, we're gonna look for that a little bit later. But I saw the bullet go in. Well, I didn't see it go in, but I saw the bullet come out the top of it. I thought I was tripping. And then now it makes sense because I see the exit right there. We're going to look for that bullet and see if we can find a little bit later on. All right, man. We, 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 we've been trying to look for this for this uh, 38 special round, but we'll, we're going to look at the end again. But it, it literally, as you guys can see, went and popped out the top. And what... Uh, what tim said which makes sense i mean this is good but if you're wearing this armor is it going up into your to your to your goddamn your jugular and killing you the way i saw it because i could i saw the bullet come out it kind of flopped out so i don't know if it took a lot of the speed but this thing damn near just hit and bounced off of it it didn't like it didn't penetrate like the, like at all which is wild so this is my first time shooting body armor so I, i'm i'm just up here like i'm just up here like a kid right now Next up though, we're gonna shoot the nine millimeter. We're gonna go a little bit to the right and uh, we'll see how the nine does, man. Three, two, one. Okay, so I shot nine. Went right in the center mass. I ain't gonna lie, I was shoot aiming up here, so this these sights I need to get them. And then again, they might be these might be zeroed in like at 25. We shot in here, and it seems like what happens, same thing with the 22. What's going on is it's entering in, hitting, and fragmenting. And that's where all this splutter or whatever you want to call it's happening, where the bullet's going in, and then it's breaking apart in here and then coming out through these little ridges right here. Which at the end of this video, when we go back home, if this thing is still intact. What we'll do is we'll open it up and like we'll take a look at it when we get into the, the laboratory. But uh, there's nine millimeter. Next up, 357. This one's gonna have a little bit of kick on it. We're gonna try to get like right by the 38 special side, so I'll try to aim a little bit better this time around. Three, two, one. Woo! All right. Now this one went in and you can see that it's uh breaking up some of that alumina i think alumina is also the ceramic this is a ceramic plate from what i know um coming out the top still fragments so definitely it's it's you're getting shot it's not going through i mean we got a little bit of dent here and there ain't no dent, but a little bit of dent on the, on, the, on the 357, a little bit of a dent, basically. Fragmentation is definitely going on. You're probably getting hit with, who knows, if the bullet fragmentation, maybe some just some regular uh, ceramics coming out on you. I, that part, I don't know, but it's stopping the bullet. 
But getting shot up top is definitely not where you want to get shot at because you have a potential of some bullet fragmentation coming up and hitting you. But um, it survived the uh, 357, nine millimeter, 22 LR, 38 special. Next up, 45 ACP. So yeah, before we even do this though, this Glock, I've been looking forward to shooting one of these, man. This is the brand new Glock 30 Gen 5. So we're gonna put five in here real quick just to, just to do some shooting testing. We'll leave, we'll shoot four, leave one for the actual bulletproof vest. Let me see if I can hit it from back here. It's my first time shooting this one. There you go. Pretty good, pretty good. We're gonna aim, and like I said, you know, we're, we shot here, here, here. I'm gonna try to aim and hit like right around this area for the 45 ACP. 45 ACP. Woo! Now this one, the bullet's in there, you see it? Yep. It's hot too. Let me see if I can get it out. I ain't got my knife on me, hold on. That thing took a 45 to the chest, boy. It splattered in there. But hey, you're alive. 45 to the chest, but you ain't gonna lay the rest because you're wearing a bulletproof vest. But uh, I like that. I ain't gonna, yeah, that, that's, that's a good, uh, you can see the fragmentation though, look at that. You can see it like coming out right here. Hey, look, it's, it's crazy. It's lodged in there. We're definitely gonna check it out. Great gun right here, great gun. All right, so it took that. Next thing, we're gonna start getting into the, the, uh, the big boy rounds, the 223-556. 762 by 39 and last but not least the 308 so this is where we can really start seeing oh yeah 300 blackout this is where we're gonna really start seeing the the, the proper testing done today all right y'all so next up we got the uh 556 i guess i'll do 556 and then we'll do 300 blackout right after it then the 762 by 39 so now we're getting into the area of you know, where things can start to hurt for that individual that's taking it. I mean, well, I think you get hit by any of these, you're gonna be hurt, probably except for the 22 LR. Um, we are going to aim, and we're gonna put this up here. We're gonna aim for right here. So, let's get it popping, man. And this is a, this is a 556, by the way, guys, not 223, straight 556. Three, two, one. All right. We got a little bit of leak leak. A little bit of leak leak. Got a little bit of leak leak. Woo. So the bullet's in right there. Fragmented a little bit, but not as bad. That's good. But the bullet went in right here. All this ceramics crushed up. And it's, it's, it's like broken up in here. The back, we still good. You still living. You you feeling that hump, but you still living. You got a little bit of leak leak though. A little, little pee pee coming out. You feel me? But uh, you live to fight another day. So let's keep it moving. Next up, we're going to do... 300 blackout, soft tip. So this is like hollow points kind of in a way. We're gonna run that. And then I'm gonna take the AK out. We're gonna run the AK as well. So we getting there, man. But it says, you know, it's level four. It's, it's doing what level four is supposed to do. We're not supposed to see any any exit at all. Based upon the 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 standards that these are issued for, you feel me? So, 300 blackout, 762, and then last but not least, we're gonna shoot that goddamn 308 to the chest. Let's see how you're doing. I'm gonna try to shoot right here, bro. Get in between that. I gotta aim up, I've been shooting low. 300 blackout, three, two, one. I got my spot. Damn. 
So you can see, I can see the actual casing in there. Yeah, it's fragmented. Oh, but you're not penetrated. You're living, you're still living. You're, you're in pain, but you're still living. But this AK, this is what I really want to see. 7.62 by 39, straight to the chest. Level four, bulletproof vest. Woo! Holy shit! Yeah. Okay. God damn! Yeah. <laughs> so it, uh, I don't know where we hit at on this one. We can finally see the internals though. Damn. Yeah, man. You see the internals, it's busted wide open. But, did we go to the other side? No. Took a 7.62 by 39 to the chest and, and it seems like it hit right here because it went through and it's like right here, it's like a little bit of an impact. All right. <sighs> well, I guess the only thing left is a 308, man. Let's go. Before uh, we go, I do want to just take a test shot. It's been a minute since I've last shot this. So I want to make sure like we're good to go in the ammo. And then I, I'm probably going to shoot from back here. I honestly don't know if I want to shoot uh, this so close up on the target. Honestly, I'm going to be 1000. So we might just shoot from back here for safety reasons. Even though I mean like it's not horrible, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. Before that though, I want to see this can in action. This is uh, just a test to so, um, see how the suppressor is first. We're gonna just shoot one. Sound good. Now we'll see how this shoots with the AB suppressor. This is suppressor. That sounds beautiful. That sounds beautiful. All right, let's get back to it. So we're gonna finalize this. We got the uh, the Tika um, pretty much zeroed in. So we're gonna bring out the DJI, set it up right here so that we can see it all happen. And what I'll do also is put it in slow motion. So um, I think I'm pretty spot on with it right now because I wanna say I aimed right here and I got here and it was it was pretty zero. Like I zeroed it like at, I wanna say hundred yards. So it's not that far off. But what I do wanna do is I'm gonna shoot one here. We're gonna shoot like one on this side to get a clean mark. And then we'll shoot another fall. We'll come, we'll shoot here to get a clean mark, come up here, check it out. And then we're gonna shoot another one directly back in that same spot. So we're gonna get two different shots. And then after that, we'll start doing our other tests where we literally like just see how many it could take. Unfortunately, my dumb self did not bring all the ammo that I needed. So we are limited on that part um, with the amount of ammo, but it's all good. So we got it, um, camera set up very close. So I gotta have, make sure I have a good shot, but uh, we, have the, we have it set up. I'm gonna do one more test shot on my target to make sure my, like I'm good. And then we're gonna shoot the two more rounds in on top of that. So let's get it, man. This is by far one of my favorite guns. Tika, TAC, uh, TAC A1, I believe it is. It's it's amazing. MOA is, shoots better than me. It makes me a decent shooter. I don't, you know, I suck, but it makes me good. All right, we're going to just test, test shot. I feel good about that. All right. Bulletproof vest to the right. And Tim, remember I told you? That's the A shot, make sure. Oh yeah. Now. Yeah, but he's done. I, I mean, look, we had an entry right here, blown out the side but we don't have the full penetration, bro. I don't think that this is penetrating that person. It blew out the side, 
but it did not go through. What happened here, obviously, though, is that force and that blowout busted that bottle. I still think that this is good. I don't count that as a, I don't count that as a pass through. Do you? So I'm gonna shoot one in here. It's gonna probably fall again, and then we're, I want to put one more like right in the right in the middle. Let me put one in the middle. I'm gonna put one right here first. Cause this is like, it, it, it won't blow out. If you shoot somebody on the side though, it seems like if you shoot around the edges on a bulletproof vest, that's where the, that's where you can potentially get some, something to happen. Cause that blowout occurring of fragments or, or ceramic. But even then there's no pass through. There's no, it's not going through it. There's no hole through it. And that's what we need to be able to make sure we are, you know, doing what we're doing. So we're going to put one more up top and we're going to come back and see it again. I love that sound, man. That, that, AB, that AB suppressor, bro. This gun, I used to have a muzzle brake on it. It was crazy. Now it's nothing. We are back once again. And we shot right here where I was aiming. And we are not there. Tim, he's taking it to the chest. Yes, yes. This whole thing is open. He's surviving. <laughs> All right. I think we should just like put like like a whole bunch of this two, two, three through it or something, and then switch it out for the other one. What you think? Yeah, 100%. Let's, let's get some blow through. Yeah. All right, so quick change of plans. We're gonna actually shoot the 308 in the same spot over and over and over. And then we're gonna go to town with the one we're using now at the very end, because I still need to do my science and figure out how many 308s does it take to go through here. Because obviously it ain't, it ain't, it, it's holding up very well. And, and I, I honestly, I, I want to keep this to, you know, go back and, I mean, we can still talk about it at the end of the video. You feel me? All right, so I got five rounds here and then we got another eight right there. How many rounds you think till it goes through? I'm gonna say four. Four? Yeah. I, I want to say, I'm, 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 I'm with you on four. I, I, I think it could, but I, I, for some reason I'm thinking three. I'm thinking three, but if it goes like past four to five, I'll be very impressed. Oh yeah, in the same spot? What? Yeah, in the same spot, yeah, I'll be very impressed. All right, aiming dead center, shot one. Shot one, Let's check it out. It looks like it took it pretty well. Looks like it took it pretty well. Humpty Dump on the back. Too. Yeah, I'm gonna aim straight for this. I'm aiming straight in there. I'm not aiming around. I'm aiming straight for the, I'm, you know, this like, I'm shooting like I'm shooting an MOA where I'm just aiming at the same exact spot. It should go right inside that little pocket and we'll see what happens there. If we see a lot of water, we know what that means. Shot two. I think that bitch went straight through. Yep, water, water yeah, it went straight through cause it ain't, it didn't move that time. And there's a lot of water now. I'm sorry, I know we're wasting water, y'all. I was trying to get one big jug. I couldn't find one jug. So we had to get a whole thing. And there you go, buddy. I think you, yeah. I think, yeah, you felt that one. Yeah, you felt that one. You felt that one. That one came through on, man. So, yep, you can see the hole right there too. It's probably hard to see, but now what we can do is have a little bit fun and uh, just go to town on it. Well, two shots in the same exact spot. Still think it's pretty good. And the odds of that happening, it's probably slim to none. See how many shots of AK, 12 shots of AK that is. Can it take? All right, y'all. So I gotta say, man, phenomenal. Uh, great, great results for this body armor. Um, it worked for the most part. Um, you just don't wanna get shot in the same exact place two times in a row with 308. That's the main part. Um, as you guys saw, 
we just shot like 12 rounds of 7.62 by 39, right? Yeah. And um, we still only returned with that one hole, or maybe, maybe we did get another hole. We did, we did, we did. Okay, we got a hole here, and I guess this little area right here was retrieving holes as well. I just want to say though, as far as some body armor that will uh, take a hit, give you enough chances at least, give you an extra chance, this is some good stuff. We're gonna take it to the uh, lab and break down some more. So let's get right back to the lab. Because even now, as bad as it is, there is still potential of this like if this was being utilized in a real life situation, mm -hmm. as bad as this looks, there's still some salvaging, some some additional shots this could take in, in various places out there. Um, so I'm not mad at this uh, whatsoever, but we do have a couple of holes in here now that we're looking and I'm happy I confirmed it because I would not want to be wrong about this. I think we got another one. Nah, I think that might be it right here. This one right here for sure though. I think this is 762 by 39 and I think this one is 308. But this was the one we went stupid on. This is the one we did the caliber testing on and was more simple on. And as you guys and girls see, it did its uh, due diligence and now we have a mess everywhere. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video and liked it, let me know, leave a link down below in the description. Um, maybe we could do some on some different levels because obviously like this is level four so this is kind of up on the top end there's level two there's level one there's level three level one is going to be of course like a more thin more something that you can maybe wear um like with regular clothing and not look crazy you know, you know level one you could probably put a hoodie on or even a shirt i i would have to see but there's different definitely different thicknesses to those different levels that you can utilize and see if it's something worth you know wearing depending on where you're at or just having it in general you know level one might only take like nine millimeter i i, I looked at the statistics but obviously like level one might take this nine millimeter 45 level two take 45 like stuff it's like different tiers that are at each level so if you want to see maybe something like that moving forward let me know down below in the comment section and uh yeah we will uh let you know thank you once again for tuning in i love y'all i appreciate y'all i'm out Peace.